Here's why you don't need hiding spots in Phasmophobia on the map. Willow Street House. This map was introduced back in June 17, 2021, on the Beta Branch. This map is unique and distinguishes itself from other maps. How? You may ask. This map has no lockers or closets, making it harder for new players to get through a hunt. The goal was to encourage players to be creative and figure out their own hiding spots using furniture, which everyone has adapted to. I often encounter players that have trouble with hiding on this map, so here are my tips and tricks to surviving hunts on Willow Street House. Be aware though, these hiding spots require you to turn off your electronic equipment within 2 meters distance to prevent the ghost from wandering to you. Here is the first hiding spot however, most of the time, the ghost does end up wandering to you. So in that case, you need a backup plan. In most cases, you can loop the ghost around the furniture just like shown on screen. However, make sure you know how to not waste your stamina and save it for when you really need it. This is also another hiding spot. This one is heavily recommended as I almost never die using this hiding spot. However, keep in mind that the ghost can come to you and check you out. This spot is located in the garage. Here are some hiding spots that are located in the master bedroom. Make sure you squeeze yourself so you are touching the walls and break line of sight the best way possible. Now, let's head into the boy's bedroom. Here is a hiding spot located to the right next to this white furniture. This spot doesn't cover much and makes you very vulnerable, but works in most cases. Here is another hiding spot located to the left upon entering the room. This covers most of the room and makes you less vulnerable. The bathroom connected to the hallway can also be used as a hiding spot, but the ghost can come and check you out. Now, let's head into the basement. You can pretty much close the door and hide behind these shelves. However, if the ghost enters the room, you may need to loop it around the shelves and then make a run for it. Here is another hiding spot located in the basement. This hiding spot lets you get a great view of the entire room, while still blocking line of sight for the most part of the room. Those are all of the hiding spots I've discovered to be useful. If you have any questions or any recommendations, feel free to leave them down below 